What do you think about when you go to Hawaii? Well, I think about climbing the diamond head because it's awesome. It's a great thing to do at 6 in the morning, and I love those ocean vistas. I mean, you got to stay at a comfy hotel, right? Of course. So I went to the Hawaiian Hilton Village. If it's good enough for my Garrett from 5-0, it's good enough for me. Of course, I wanted to go see some wildlife, and on an early morning, I like to check out the doves, like this cool little white dove just strolling the property looking for seeds. And then I said, you know what, let me go find a gecko that does push-ups because they're awesome and I like to flare out their larnix or lungs or whatever it is, but it was hella cool, so glad I got this. Very cool guy. And then you got to go to the Dole Pineapple Plantation, right? It's an amazing place. I look at all these incredible tropical plants and think, yep, they don't burn in California. You got to have some delicious pineapple and they were amazing. And if you didn't know, pineapples grow on bushes, not trees. The next day, I said, you know what? I need to go sailing. I saw this boat. Said, you know, this looks like a perfect little picture for a YouTube channel show. So I got it. Go over to Pearl Harbor. Got to pay homage to all the men that served and gave their lives for freedom. And there's old glory. Yep, God bless America at the Pearl Harbor Memorial. And then if you go to Hawaii, you got to go scuba diving. Yep. These are red snapper. I'm 60 feet underwater in this cool reef. Love that dive company. And then, of course, there is your spotted butterfly fish. They were totally cool. And I found a spotted moray eel. He was amazing. interesting things about growing coffee. Now, if you look behind me, you're going to see a flowering plant over there. The flowering plant is what happens during the growth process. They flower, then they turn into the red beans, which you can see behind me, and after that, like a cherry, they're roasted. And after they're roasted, in this lovely roasting machine, which is about a 16-minute process, once that occurs, then you have a cup of coffee. So when you get a chance, come down to Hawaii and go to the coffee plantation. It's one thing to just go get a bag at your local bar, State of Brothers, whatever. But when you see the roasting process, when you taste the samples, a whole nother world. So enjoy a cup of coffee for real, organically. This is Ricardo Del California wishing you some great coffee. Take care. Acidity. This one's really, really good too. So it's just you, all you need is like just milk. Mm -hmm. That's I put heavy cream in my. my That's what I did. And cake. I told him you don't even need sugar. No, you don't. The flavor's just there. Yeah. One of the things that I love about Hawaii is how nutrient rich the island is. Look how red the soil is full of iron. That's how we get such a green environment. Then of course we have all the chickens that just grace us everywhere, especially when you get out of Honolulu. They're just everywhere. Such gorgeous colors with red, brown, gold. They're just cool little guys here. Look at these gorgeous cherry coffee beans waiting to be roasted to perfection. Incredible. I think one of the great things about being at a coffee farm is it really connects you with your cup of coffee because you know what you're drinking, you know where it came from, and this is completely organic. Such a pleasant place to be. It's like the Zen garden of coffee plantations. It's, it's quite amazing here at the Greenwood Coffee Farm. How do you have your cup of coffee if you drink coffee? For me, it's a time that I like to usually do afternoon because I don't want the morning jitters. And around lunchtime, I like to have that with a croissant or a bagel. Maybe a some oatmeal. I already got half the day done, and uh, I just kind of like to reflect, because it gives me a little bit of a 
extra zing for my second half of the day. Other people enjoy it in the morning. Although on the weekends, I do like to go have a nice cup of coffee after a dive or a walk or a hike. And here in Hawaii, there is so much greenery. There's such an incredible environment of just peace and solitude. It's just everywhere. You just have to just partake in it. And being in a coffee plantation is just like that for me. Today, it's very cool. We've got some overcast weather here. Next minute, it could be sunny. It could rain a little bit. That's just what it's like to be uh, in a place where the trade winds come, right? So, when you do come down to Hawaii, go to a coffee farm. Not just sample the coffee. Sit down. Look at the environment. Be one with nature. Listen to the birds. Savor the roast coffee. Whether it be dark roast, medium roast, light roast, espresso roast. So many roasts. Some people don't know this, but did you know that the darker the roast, more caffeine is actually burnt out. So a lighter bean, would be a little more greener, if you will, has more caffeine. If you didn't know that, it's true. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like, please subscribe. Because who knows where I'm going to be next. This is Ricardo Del California from Oahu, Hawaii. At a coffee farm.